Today we're going to take a look at the Starship Troopers Action Fleet Warrior Bug produced by Galoob in 1996. In each pack you would get uh, one larger bug figure and uh, three smaller uh, sort of little men figures as you can see here if I hold these up. These are pretty tiny, uh, probably measuring no more than sort of two to two and a half centimetres in height. Some are even smaller as that guy there uh, is uh, kneeling down. Uh, and you get one bug figure and in, uh, in the warrior pack obviously you got one of the warrior bugs. This is probably the most iconic bug from the Starship Trooper movie. Uh, and this is actually a pretty nice toy. Uh, Galoob aren't known Known for doing the uh, the best of uh, action figures but this one isn't too bad it's got a reasonable amount of articulation as you can see the legs rotate each of the f four legs rotates nicely uh, the head rotates around uh, the jaws don't open and close but then these pincers that are either side of the jaw do uh, rotate as well it's got a pretty good sculpt and paint job as well it's a uh, nicely detailed lots of sort of little uh, bumps and sort of dents and, and bits all over it uh, the paint is not the best in the world but it is pretty nice for the size uh, and it, it looks pretty good these are a very a good representation of uh, how they appeared in the movie uh, it has one sort of play feature if i just move my camera down here uh, that all of these little men have uh, small magnets on the bottom of them as you can see there and located in two points on this figure there are magnets so if i just sort of put that there you can see that the little man attaches to the side of uh, the warrior bug. Uh, there's also a magnet on the bottom of the bug so uh, if I do that there you can see uh, it sits on the bottom. Bit of a strange position but obviously I think you're, you're meant to you know the bug has been knocked over and uh, old Johnny Rico's on the top of him uh, firing bullets into him. So it's not the most amazing uh, sort of gimmick but it is one uh, that does work quite well. The magnets are pretty um, sort of strong so the, the characters hold in place quite nicely. Uh, this bug was also available in a battle damage version, which is the carded one I have here. As you can see, it's a slightly different sculpt and there's a bit more paint detailing and sort of green goo and uh, markings on it. Uh, but otherwise, it's pretty much the same figure. Uh, the little men that you get are also in slightly different poses, although there is crossover. I think that guy in the middle came with the uh, normal warrior bug as well. As you can see, it's the same pose. The other two are slightly different. Uh, these you know overall these figures aren't amazing but they do a, sort of serve a purpose and they do look pretty nice um it would have been better if there was a little bit more sort of uh sort of well a little bit more, a few more joints in it so that you could pose it a bit better because really all you can do is sort of pose it standing like that um not much else you can do with it on the back of the packet uh, I do like the line here a new scale for adventure basically that means too small in my eyes because these little figures are just way too small they get lost so easily they're they're going to be pretty easy to break they're, they're made out of fairly flimsy plastic and bendy pl plastic uh, and they just look tiny uh, and you know it's just going to get sucked up by the hoover and uh, you know that that's once that's gone then all you're left with is the bug overall though it isn't a bad toy for 1996 there were better things produced Galoob have never made uh, the, the greatest of toys they're always a little bit sort of below par to, to uh, other manufacturers but you know they're not bad uh, there's not that many to collect if you look on the back you can see there are only six of uh, these small sets there are a couple of larger sets uh, with uh, ships and sort of larger bugs in it for the action fleet size uh, so if you want to collect them it shouldn't be too hard to get although having had a look on ebay before doing this video people are asking very uh, crazy prices for them at the moment but uh, prices go up and down i picked this one up at a toy fair recently for two pounds carded so uh, you can still find them cheap if you look around overall though uh, they're nice figures and they do look uh, you know like they do in the film but they're not the best of toys so uh, only collect them if you're sort of a fan of the film thanks for watching